Alright, so, uh, ladies and gentlemen, remember coterminal <coughs> angles. To do coterminal angles, you guys have to have your outline. Okay, you guys have to have your outline. And outline is you're gonna, is gonna tell you uh, what coterminal angles are, meaning they have the same initial side and they have the same terminal side, right? So let's just look at a picture of an angle like this. Let's just say I have, let's say here's my angle, right? From here, 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 right? Well, one thing I want you guys to understand is if I go in the, if I go in the positive direction, let's say I start here and I go to here, okay? Did I get, did I go back to where I started? Yeah. Right? Yes. If I go in the negative, if I go in the positive direction, and how, what is the degree, does anybody know how far I traveled in terms of radiance? In terms of radiance? Uh, uh, three, uh, um, I bet four. Two pi. Wait, wait, wait. Two pi, right? Two pi. So what you guys could say is, if I add two pi, it takes me exactly to where I just started, right? Does that make sense? Yes. So whatever, even this angle is, if I add two pi, it takes me right back to where I am. Yes. So, like, if it was four pi, would you have around twice? Four pi would take four pi would work as well, right? Yes, four pi would take me around twice. But then there's another thing I want you guys to show you is what about if I did it this way? What about if I went around once? Now in the negative direction. Again, how far did I travel? Negative two pi. Negative two pi. But did I go right back to where I'm at? Speed. Yes. Okay. So I know we're not talking about angle, we're just talking about on the side here, but what I'm saying is if I add or subtract two pi, that's going to essentially take me right back to where I started, correct? Okay, so what we have guys is we have an angle. And what I wanna do is on this angle, we have an initial and a terminal side. Well, obviously we're gonna start at the same initial side, but what I wanna do is I want to find a way to find how we can get back, uh, how we can get to our terminal side in two different ways. So the way to do that is if here's my angle, negative nine pi over four. And I'm actually gonna draw where that'd be so you guys can kind of see it. Okay, so here's my unit circle. Um, so it's gonna be in fourths. So let's see what I have. <coughs> so one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, right? Okay, so that's in fourths. <laughs> So let's look at what my angle would be. So negative nine force is gonna be going all the way around. Because all the way around 360 degrees is what? Negative eight pi, right? And going an extra one more pi would be a negative nine pi. Does everybody see how I got to that angle? Yeah. So that is the angle. Here's my initial side, and then here's my terminal side. So I say, all right, well, how else can I do that? Well, I'm gonna go back to this example. If I add two pi to my angle, and if I subtract two pi from my angle, it's gonna, again, take me back to my terminal, to my terminal side. So what I do is I do negative nine pi over four plus two pi, and I do negative nine pi over four minus two pi. Oh, and that's how you find like the angle. And that, so then, what that's going to do is that's going to give me now um, two different, that's going to give me now two different angles that I can, uh, angles that are going to have the exact same initial and terminal side. So now, you guys have to remember, well, guess what? Fractions are making a comeback. You guys remember old fractions? Yes. They're coming back in style. So, if you guys remember, I can write these as a denominator one, <coughs> right? Then, to put, to add, not negative nine fourths plus two over one, I have to multiply by your, get them to be at common denominators. So I need to multiply by four, four over four. Okay, so then what I get is a negative nine pi over four plus eight pi over four. And then this one is a negative nine pi over four minus Eight pi over four, right? So there, negative nine pi plus one is a negative pi over four, and this one becomes a negative seventeen pi 
over 4. Right? Hmm? Yep. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these graphs would look like. Please remember where this one is, guys. This angle goes all the way around and then ends here, right? Well, what's, what's negative 1 4? Right there. Right? That's just right there. Is that the same as that one? Same initial, same terminal? Yes. And this one would be wrap around once, which is negative 8 pi, negative 16, I'm sorry, negative 8 over 4. That's negative 16 over 4, so negative 17 over 4 would be right there, which is the exact same thing. Okay? So again, guys, to find coterminal sides, they have to have the same end point and your same initial side. Well, obviously, we're going to still use the same initial side. But to figure them out, add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi. All right? And just make sure you guys remember how to add or subtract fractions, because that will be what you guys will forget. And then what you'll see is my two angles both have the same terminal side. Mm -hmm. Yes? Well, you know how you start that initial side and then end it at the same place? They're both positive and negative. Well, I remember you talking about something else where you start at initial and then you stop at the, the other side of the terminal. Like you go around once, but you don't go around like 360, you stop at the terminal. Yeah, it depends what your depends what the angle is. Here the angle was negative one pi over four. So I only went down negative pi over four. Yeah. Here I had to go and keep on going around because I had to go around once, because that's negative eight pi over four. I had to go around again, that's negative sixteen over four, and then I had to go down one more fourth to get it. Because remember, these are all breaking in force. That's one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. Well if I need to get to seventeen. I need to go 9, 4, 10, 11, 12, oh, 13, right. 14, 15, 16, 17. Never mind. I thought you were saying something. Take it for good, please.